Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Dan Lawrence. I'm a faculty member in the Department of Writing, Language, and Literature at the University of Wisconsin-Superior, and this is Writing 490, 490, the writer's portfolio. It uh, satisfies your senior year experience credits toward graduation, and this course is required for um, all writing majors and, and minors to satisfy that senior year experience unless you satisfy those credits otherwise such as with an internship so welcome to the course i i love teaching this course i'm very happy to teach this course and to have you here with me um, the purpose of this video is to tell you a little bit more about what is this class what are we going to be doing what are some of the major projects why are we here what are we doing this for um, and to give you a broad kind of overview of the layout so this video is both for 490-001 and 490-E1 online students. Okay, so to get started, I, you know, I, I think one thing to say maybe is congratulations for making it this far, right? Uh, th this course in some ways is like a celebration of your success as a writing student. And in some ways it's designed to help you make that transition from being a student of writing to you know accepting now that you're moving on you're graduating you've become a writer you you are a writer now and so this class is an opportunity to stop and to think about what that means in terms of your identity as a writer your your professional identity you know are you someone who specializes in postmodern flash fiction or do you write historical realism novels that center on uh, 19th century Russia um, you know there's there's kind of the full possible creative spectrum of things that you might be working on as a writer and so the purpose of this class is to stop and and uh, assess a little bit you know what what is your identity as a writer how can you express that to the world and then to, to stop and think a little bit about where you're headed after UW Superior. Where are you going with your, you know, career, your publications? Are you headed off to graduate school programs? Uh, as many of our writing students do, they'll go on to an MFA, a Master of Fine Arts, or MA, or some even go on to doctoral work. Um, or, you, you know, will you target a career as a marketer or a you know, digital marketing or technical writing or communications or some some of our writing students go into human resources or they break off into other career paths. You know, where what do you want to do? Or they go into editing, freelance writing. There's kind of, the, you know, the, this great, the, again, a wide spectrum of possibilities for you. So that's what this class is about, is, is kind of taking stock, uh, stopping to assess, um, and, and plan toward your future and to think about what is your identity as a writer. And in many ways, it's a kind of celebration, right? It all culminates in um, the building of a website where you'll showcase your best works and then uh, you'll sh kind of show off your work at a capstone event that'll be at the end of the semester. So that's the big picture. Now I'll I'll dig into specifically what are some of the assignments you'll be working on. So let's start with Canvas. Canvas is the LMS or learning management system that we use for all the classes at UW Superior. And I organize my classes in a week by week basis. So you'll see these boxes, they're called modules in Canvas. And each week of the course has its own module. And so you can kind of move through the course based on those modules. But you'll also see on the left hand vertical navigation menu, the up and down menu on the left hand side, you know, things like assignments. So that's where I'm going to go right now. I'm going to click on assignments and that's going to show you all the assignments that are due throughout the semester that are, are going to have point values. So you'll see weekly discussion boards, for example. The first major assignment is the writer's statement. That's where you're going to think about, you know, what is it that you specialize in as a writer? You know, we're all working on slightly different projects. 
some of us are fiction writers, some of us are nonfiction writers, some of us, you know, we like to write post-apocalyptic fiction, some of us like to write magical realism, and everything in between, right? So this, this is your chance in the writer's statement to try to capture what it is that you do, what it is that you specialize in, in a kind of narrative. So that's the writer's statement, that's the first major assignment. Uh, then you'll submit a draft of your website portfolio. So that's kind of the central project that we're working on in this class is you're going to build a website. And we're going to use tools to do that. We're going to use what are called drag and drop web building tools. So they're really user friendly. You don't need to do any coding. Uh, you don't need to be, you know, um, highly technically proficient with computers or anything to do that. It's really nice user friendly drag and drop website builders. And you can pick which one uh, you want to use. Some students use Wix, wix.com. Some students use Squarespace. Uh, some students use WordPress. There's GoDaddy. And I, I have, you know, I have some suggestions in Canvas there for you about what you might want to use. But you, so you, you know, you can choose which website builder you want to use and then start building out a portfolio website that showcases your best work, you know, uh, samples of your writing. It'll include your writer's statement. It'll include a copy of your resume. Um, and, and all together, it's going to be a cohesive way to to package all of your work, your you know your best writing state, your best works of writing, your best pieces of writing, uh, your writer's statement, your resume, kind of package that all together. Um, it, in a way that you know puts your name out there, and and showcases your writing. So that's that's the website draft. You'll see that in week eight. Um, then we'll we'll do some peer review of writing samples. That's actually in week six. I'm going out of order a little bit. Sorry. Uh, you'll work on a CV or resume, depending on where you are in your career. And we'll alongside that we'll read a great book on careers in writing. And then you'll keep workshopping your website and submit that by the end of the semester and do a short reflection video. So I'm just kind of going through the assignments tab right now. Um, that's what you'll see in there. And then uh, along with those major projects, there's also the weekly discussion board. And uh, that'll compose all of the points available for the class for the E1 section. And if you're in the 001 section, then um, also, attendance will be required for points in uh, our in-person meetings. So let's talk about the books a little bit. We have some really nice books that we, we've picked out for this class. Um, and I have them right here, sorry. <laughs> various, uh, various faculty members have weighed in on this, so these are not just my my selections, these are, you know, we, we've kind of worked, all worked together on designing this class um, so that it reflects, you know, what we think of as useful materials for you before you go on and graduate. So the, the one we're going to start with is called The Writing Life. So these are uh, essays and, and narratives of, of professional writers who share their experience as writers. Um, I think it's fascinating, right, to, th to think about, you know, some of the struggles uh, writers have gone through. I mean, r right, we, we sometimes forget that it's not just you wake up one morning and you publish a best-selling novel and you're suddenly uh, drowning in money and fame and all these things. There's a, a long process to get to that point, right, and, and struggle and so many writers aren't even recognized uh, for their achievements in their lifetime, like Edgar Allan Poe, for example. Um, you know, so to have like firsthand accounts of, of uh, you know, mostly uh, I think 20th century um, writers in, in here, I think is really useful 
And you'll see I have some supplemental articles to go along with this, like the surprising day jobs of famous writers and things like that. You know, because that's the reality, is that it's, it's hard to make a living um, just selling books, right? Or just writing books. Uh, most people have to supplement, most writers have to supplement their income some way, whether that's through a full-time job that does some writing, you know, editing, technical writing, marketing or communications, or, you know, something unrelated to writing. And then they do the writing in the evenings or weekends um, or, or finding other ways to supplement supplement income. But so I really I, we really like this. You know, I think all the faculty members in the writing program really like this book. And, you know, there's a lot in here and you'll see in the the reading schedule, I've assigned all the pages, but you can kind of pick and choose, you know, there, there's various essays in here. So maybe, you know, each week choose two or three essays from the page numbers I've selected that interest you. You know, you may even see some of your famous authors in here. There's one I really like by Carl Sagan, for example, um, you know, Umberto Eco, you'll see, um, you'll see names that look familiar to you from the world of writing. Ray Bradbury, um, Joyce Carol Oates, some really good stuff in here, but you don't have to read necessarily, you know, every essay in here from the selected pages. Just choose, you know, a, a couple that grab you and interest you. And I think that's more than sufficient. You don't have to, you know, go from start to finish through this whole book. Uh, we also have Writing to Change the World, which is a great opportunity to stop and think about, you know, what is the social, political, economic, cultural function of your writing? How does your writing relate to various issues that humanity faces? And, you know, what's something we want you to articulate and to think about? It's like, what is the what is the greater purpose of your writing? What role does it serve in communities, um, you know, in the world? And, and what is it, what are you working toward, right? What is that kind of greater goal? Um, you know, for example, in my recent work, I've, I've started to focus on disinformation and misinformation and ethics. And, and that's been, you know, just to go off on a personal tangent, that's been a great drive for me to always have um, to always know that the writing that I'm doing is somehow helping to solve, even if in a small way, helping to solve some problem that humanity faces right now. And so Writing to Change the World is a great book to help you stop and think about, you know, where does your writing fit in in relationship to the various issues that humanity faces? You know, whether it's uh, environmental catastrophe or economic issues or social and cultural woes the the face of the earth is riddled with all kinds of dangers and problems and issues um not to get too dark on you there but the next book is careers in writing we're going to read this and this is again you know i don't think you necessarily have to read it from cover to cover um although it's short you may want to um but at the very least you know when i assign these pages poke around a little bit, um, see if there's anything that grabs your attention. Maybe you'll think of a career path that you you hadn't thought of before. Um, it's a really great book. I'm, I'm happy that it exists. It's a very specific book, careers in, in writing, you know, screenwriting, technical writing, marketing, advertising, staff writing, writing fiction, writing nonfiction, freelancing. There's some good stuff in here. I mean, this is a really nice one. You might want to hang on to this. Uh, and then lastly, I don't have my copy here. It must be in my office on campus, but um, you majored in what it's called. That's kind of a silly title, but um, just a book to help you think about what are you going to do next and, and planning for the future. So those are the texts we're reading. So uh, I, I went over the major assignments. I 
I showed you the books we're going to be reading and, and talked about where the points are going to be coming from. So I think I'll, I'll leave it there so this video doesn't get too long. I'm very happy you're in this class. I'm, you know, congratulations for, say, making it um, almost to the end. This is the, kind of the capstone, right? That's the, the final moment in your UW Superior writing major or minor career now is the time to reflect and gather your materials and present yourself and think about how you're going to position yourself uh, in the world after graduation as a writer and as a professional and what are you going to do next uh, as you move along as a writer so i'm uh, dr dan lawrence i'm here to help you i'm here to guide you through the process i'm here to answer your questions um, but ultimately, it's your journey, right? And that's what makes this so exciting, I think, is this is your pathway. This is your adventure that you're uh, embarking upon. So I, I hope you'll uh, take the class uh, uh, seriously enough to do the kind of thinking and writing that it takes to refine and uh, own your identity as a writer. Uh, not that it's, you know, that it'll shift over time and your interests will change, but this is a great time to stop and really think about your craft, to stop and really think about what it is you do as a writer and why you do it, what drives you and what motivates you and where do you want to take that as you go into the future. So thanks everyone. Take care.